Welcome back. So glad that you joined me. How often has you, have you heard in lifetime and recent times and any time, how much are you encouraging each other? You know, too often it seems that this is a phrase of what a lot of people want to call yesteryear. In the times that we're living in, it seems that we're so focused on what we're doing, on what we're achieving, that we're not focused anymore on trying to help those around us. Continually, when we look through the pages of Scripture, the Word itself reminds us that at the center of everything, God calls us to service. At the center of service, is the concept of encouraging one another, of building one another up, of making sure that we're looking after each other. If God wasn't wanting us to do that, he wouldn't have said that to us so many times. Even from the very beginning of time, the whole concept of taking control, taking dominion, has its roots in service. It has its roots in taking care of something that is not of ourselves. That's not natural to us today because of the very fact that our human nature has become so carnal that the first thing that we think of, especially when we get up, is ourselves and what we are going to do to better ourselves in this moment and through continual moments. It's time for us to look at things differently, to make sure that we're focused differently as well. The more that we're focused on Jesus, the more that we're rooted in him, the more that we're going to want to go out and encourage each other. Our verse today comes from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. In verse 11, and it says this, Therefore, encourage one another and build up one another, just as you also are doing. Now, right here, Paul is speaking to the church of Thessalonica in encouraging them in what they're doing. Now, my question to you right now is this. If Paul was around today, would he be writing this same passage in a letter to the Church of the Americas? Or would he be turning around and saying, you know, you guys have missed the mark and you're not doing what God's asked you to do. Either way, we need to be thinking about what it is that we're being called to, what it is that God's asking of us to do. But even more than that, how we can go out and be of service, of being a better encouragement to those around us so that as others see us, they're not seeing us. They're seeing Jesus flowing through us. And as they're touched by his spirit, they're changed by what we're doing together. Thank you again for joining me. I look forward to seeing you next time as we continue to study God's word together. God bless.